Hi everyone, in this lecture series, we are going to see about the Serial Communication Interface. The A251, it is a programmable serial communication interface. It is a chip designed for synchronous and asynchronous serial data communication. It is a packed 28 pin dual inline package. It supports the serial transmission of data. It is also called as USART, Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. So these are all the pin details of A251. It consists of the various pins D0 to D7. It is used for the data bus buffer. We are having the control register. Along with that, we are having read write, chip select, clock, reset. Apart from that, we are having two sections in this A251. One is transmitter section, another one is receiver section. Transmitter clocks, transmitter data and transmitter ready comes under your transmitter part. Transmitter receiver clock, receiver ready comes under your receiver section. Along with that, we are having supply and ground. This is the block diagram of A251. It consists of five blocks, data bus buffer, read write control logic, modem control, transmitter section, another one is receiver section. All the blocks that has been connected to the internal data bus. D0 to D7, the data bus buffer is connected bidirectional so that it is ready to transmit the data and receive the data. Next, we are having read-write control logic. We are having some of the pins in the read-write control logic. Reset, clock, C slash D bar, read, another one is write. Which will read the data and write the data. And clock is to generate your timing, uh, timing sequence. Uh, reset, again, it has to restart the devices. Along with that, we are having the modem control. In modem control, we are having four pins, data set ready, data terminal ready, clear to send, another one is request to send. So it sends the, uh, if it is, if the data is ready, uh, if, the, if the data is set automatically, uh, it will accept uh, the uh, DTR. So if it is clear to send, it is ready to accept uh, the uh, signal. So in transmitter, but in transmitter section, we are having the transmitter buffer. Another one is the transmitter control, which it is used to control the activities. At the same time, it converts parallel to serial. Uh, in the receiver section, uh, the serial data has been converted into parallel. So in both the transmitter and the receiver section, we are having the uh, clock, which is used to generate the clock signals at the same time. Uh, whether it is uh, ready to tra transmit the data and uh, it uh, it is ready to and it is also ready to accept the data so we are having five blocks that is read write control logic transmitter receiver data bus buffer control another one is modem so as i mentioned that uh, uh, so here we are having uh, in this uh, block we are having three registers that is control register status register and the buffer register so we, in the read write logic we are having some of the pins and suppose if the pin is selected and if it is high the control register is selected for reading control or the reading status word suppose if the reset is high it forces a to five one into the ideal mode so the clock input is necessary uh, for the communication and it does not control either the serial transmission or the reception so the function of the transmitter as we know that it accepts the parallel data from the cpu and converts into the serial data the transmitter section here is uh, double buffered because it has the buffer register it is used to store the data suppose if the output register is empty the data is transferred from the output register again it has to load the data if the buffer is uh, empty then transmitter goes to high uh, suppose if the clock signal is low it controls the date so the clock frequency it may be six, uh, 8, 16 or 64. 
so the purpose of the receiver section is to accept the serial data and convert it to the parallel data if the receiver section is double buffered what is the purpose here we are using the input register to receive the data and convert to the parallel suppose if the ready line goes slow what happens it has the start bit and it has wait for an uh, time at the same time the cpu reads the parallel data from the buffer register so we are having two types of modes one is asynchronous and synchronous during the synchronous uh, mode the signal uh, will indicate the reception of the synchronous character during the asynchronous mode the, the signal uh, that is synchronous detection and break detect will uh, indicate uh, the break in the uh, transmission so the function of the modem control uh, so it is used 3 to 8 uh, decoder which generates the select, uh, chip select signals and uh, the address uh, a not that has been connected to provide the internal address the handshake signals also be done in the modem interface the data lines uh, it is used for the par it is used uh, to achieve the data transfer and the signals are supplied by the processor the output signal is also divided with the programmable timer and it is also used for the serial transmission and reception thank you